the suburban match the vert on some twin shit. Yeah. Easy money when I rages on my paint job. Yeah. From the rooter to the tutor, all my whips hard. Yeah. Hit the block and show my ass, I feel like Big Roy. Oh, nah. <laughs> Uh, this ain't a don't, this a vert, get your facts right Took this bitch off the frame, yeah, it costs a little cheddar, but I'm papered up I just parked a nigga mortgage in my driveway I can barely hit the gas and it gets sideways The suburban match the vert on some twin shit Easy money when I rages on my paint job From the rooter to the tutor, all my whips hard Hit the block and show my ass, I feel like Big Rod Gold roaches on my caddy bump, it's sugar free Gold 30s on my Hummer, big like Shaq feet Gold roaches on my vet, had them hoes wet I get bored and get the splurge and I don't try to flex <laughs> Left the money, Carlos stock for the fuck up the fuck Redid up. the cutty, but don't drive it cause I'm sick of I'm sick Built up. my wife at El Camino, her shit running too Ooh. That 76 Camaro running out of shit to do nah. The first nigga in my city to propose on the wagon I'm a Detroit nigga, I can't help it <laughs> That 96 and pile of pressure, I had bought it just because I ain't had shit to do, I guess I'm extra <laughs> I get plenty money, bae, I feel like plies now Plies, Fuck man. around and make me mad, I break the rim <laughs> Fuck around and make me mad, I get up in my bag, I pull a nigga car, got me feeling like Big Rod. You too, Big Rod Chevy coming to you with another video, another video. So we up here, man. We checking on the Camaro build today, as promised. It's Monday. We already love live and in effect, man. We already got some things moving on it. So uh, I got to get my truck back up here so I can... Uh, get that smoke and transmission and all these other little components out the way but uh as y'all can see like I said we already got the we got the box off you know what I'm saying as you can see it's brand new heater core brand new brand brand new but when you order vintage air all that stuff come with it so but uh yeah we in the Gonna get this work and stuff squared away, man. Gonna take the dash off so everything is easy to reach. All that type stuff, man. Seat belts and all that stuff was out of it, so. Yeah, I see, like I said, it turned into an off frame. So we can get in and finish up the pans and all and stand up. I'm gonna take we're finna take stuff apart. I'm gonna take the uh I'm taking all this stuff off, all my QA1 stuff, we can take it all off. So yeah, man, we're gonna get it all get the whole frame and stuff cleaned up, powder coated. Cross member. You know, I took all uh, powder coated, cleaned up. So yeah, we gotta come get. We gotta come get the motor and stuff. I probably come get it tomorrow. Yeah. I found something this thing can go into. The thing is, do I really want another car right now? But I did tell y'all something new was coming to the channel, didn't I? Hmm. Stay tuned to find out. But uh, yeah, so, checking on it, man. We got motion going on on it. Got a lot of motion going on in on it, man. So yeah, finna get ready. Once we get all this stuff, like I said, we gonna break everything down over here. Take the wheels and stuff off, break everything down, get some stuff over to the power coat shop. We're gonna wire brush this, new bushings. Y'all know that, y'all know that. Y'all, y'all seen how this go. Y'all know the routine, how it's gonna work out. Uh, gonna take the radiator off. Got a new radiator for it, got an LS radiator for it. Uh, yeah, we got all, them, all the goodies. All the goodies. So yeah, y'all stay tuned for all of that, man. Stay tuned, stay tuned. So yeah, just checking on the Camaro bill. Uh, I'm gonna try to make it to the city, man, here in a little bit. Check on uh, El Chapa. And uh, I believe El Chapa in my sister's car. The Jeep probably ready, man. Yeah, probably, probably ready. So um, 
Yeah, y'all stay tuned, man. Stay tuned for that. Yeah, Big Rod Chevy trying to, trying to bring y'all all the all the, the details, man, the intricate details and stuff on this work and stuff we got going on. Especially when it comes down to the bills. I get a thousand questions, man, about how the bills and stuff going and how you deal with the stresses of the bills and stuff like this. Like I said, I'm not finna lie to you and tell you don't ain't none of this stuff stressful. Anything that you want done that you cannot do yourself, you can find stress in it at any given point. I'm not even finna hold you up on that. Uh, do I make it, do I get, do, does it get to the point where, you know what I'm saying, you be wanting to say just, you know, just to hell with it? Absolutely. I ain't finna lie to you and tell you, no, it's a, it's a, it's a day in the sun every day. No, it's not. No, it ain't. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, you got to have patience with some of this stuff, bro. Just keep it in 100 with you. got to have patience with it. You know, remember, at the end of the day, this is something you chose. You know, this is something you chose that you wanted to do. Don't forget that. You know, so, yeah. Y'all seen the car when I brought it in here. It did not look like that. So everything that didn't happen to it thus far, it wasn't without my knowledge. It wasn't without my consent. Therefore, I chose. Yeah, I chose. So yeah, but y'all just stay tuned. Wait, wait till y'all see what it when she finish. Just remember, I chose. Yeah. So we're gonna check on the rest of the bills, man, today. See what we got going on, and uh, I holler back. Hold tight. What up with you, YouTube? Big Rod Chevy. So this is day two, man. I was trying to get the other bills and stuff, but one neighbor to had some other stuff come up. So I came back out here today, man, check on the Camaro bill. See, uh, just, just you know, you'll see the video, man. Uh, when you watch, man, just since since the uh, since yesterday, man, we had already made progress to it, man. We got the dashboard out. Uh, the template's been made for the firewall. Template been made for the firewall. I'm gonna go on the other side, man. It's a little hold it tight. I right, see. Complete dash out all up under the bottom. So everything is out. Like I said we still got the floor pans getting ready to get. Get ready to mock up and get ready to get put in on the on the driver's side, finish well and then in on the passenger side. Uh, let's see. Up here, you see we got all our little bolts and clips and and this, that, and the thirds to go where it needs to go to. You know, stuff like that. So yeah. Finna get ready to start. We're gonna take the brake boost and all that stuff, which is all right here take all this stuff off and take the wheels and stuff off uh, we're gonna clean the clean the frame then it'll be getting ready to get ready to get headed off to uh to the little powder coat shop so we're gonna powder coat the frame and everything on it so i thought this thing would be a lot heavier but i suppose seeing how it's, it's not so heavy so i ain't no motor in it but, yeah. But, like I said, we're making, making some progress, man. I'll probably come back with the dually and uh, grab all this stuff. So, get it back down to B&H Automotive so he can take uh, take the transmission off, like I said. And then, uh, take the transmission off and then we'll get ready to get the transmission uh, put over to the side and whatever. I might just, I'm probably gonna just leave it all put together for right now, to be honest with you, man. I'm gonna leave it all put together right now. But yeah, we took everything off, man. And with a dashboard, sitting over here, card, and everything, so. Real interesting, real interesting. Like I said, we gonna go, we gonna go back with the, uh, with the, uh, for the air conditioner, man, we're gonna do the uh, the vintage air. So that's why we, you know what I'm saying, we're gonna go ahead and smooth the firewall and everything out, man. We're gonna go back with the vintage air unit and uh, 
let it let, and uh, roll with that. Anybody who like I say in Alabama, partner, we got some we got some serious un ungodly heat that'll come through here, bro. In the matters at any point in time, so you know, no matter what your what your what you building what you building around this part, you gotta have that AC. Got to have that AC. Well, that's a bad motor right there. I said, y'all know somebody interested in the motor, man. Y'all comment, man. Jump in the comments. Let me know. 383 stroker. Might have. Like I can say. I might be pushing at a thousand miles. I might be pushing. But uh, yeah. She probably be right at a thousand miles on it. I ain't really been broke in. But I say, y'all get at me. Let me know. We gonna go over next door, man, and uh, holler at my buddy, man. See what else he. What's the next phase on this? Got a lot of other bills and stuff in here too, boy. I still can't get over how that wheel look, boy. That's just the 30. For some reason, it looks so much bigger than the 30. I got 30s on the third. The freeze got 30, but that just looks so much bigger than the 30. I don't know what, I don't know what that is, man. That's a, that's a humongous rim, bro. Humongous. But, um, Yeah, they got a frame notch going on right here. But yeah. We go over here and holler at my boy. See what we got going on. Oh. oh what the world? That is. Oh, it's a Cadillac. Vert. So, yeah. But, yeah, let me, uh, I'm going to holler at him, man. I might try to go down there and try to check on them, uh, the mother bills, man. Y'all just stay tuned. All right, so we got a chance. We we seen what we got going on with the Camaro build, man. So, um, like I said, I had to make it a, a part two type event, man. I had something to come up yesterday. A little business came up. I had to go jump on that. So, um, but we got a good idea what we what we at with the Camaro build. So, uh, like I said, we got motion on it. Uh, Every, all the bills right now got motion. Like I say, um, had a situation with that with that damn AC line, bro. With the uh, on the El Chapo, we had the AC line still messing up on it. Uh, it's not sealing off like it's supposed to. Come to find out, they did the threads the wrong way. The threads the threads supposed to spin a certain kind of way to go into the groove. They spinning, but they too wide. So when they spin, they still got a gap in between. So my Freon lead right back out as soon as you. You know what I'm saying? I felt some breath in it just for a second, but nah, it ain't gonna work. And uh, especially with that being the wife bill, you know, I ain't playing no games, not one. It's got to be 100. So, uh, ordered another line. It should be some, it should be in sometime this week. Uh, today is what? Wednesday. What's today? Today's, 20, today's Tuesday, the 23rd. I jumped ahead today. But um, 23rd, it'll be in sometime this week, possibly, man. And we're going to get it finished up. Uh, put that. Hold on, baby. Hold on, Daddy got it. Let me put that right there on the floor. So uh, that's what we had on that end. So um, I tell you what, I've been seeing a lot, a lot of. And I, uh, I actually put a, a little shout out to one of my partners, man. The 20, the 2010 and up model Camaros V6. I see a lot of them for sale. You know, motors and stuff then locked up in them. But the price they throwing on on these cars be ridiculous, bro. Not ridiculous high, but ridiculous low. I seen one on the marketplace the other day. A man trying to think he's, he's selling a 2011 uh, Camaro full body transmission goods. Said a motor locked up in it. Then he said, "Want well, want twenty five hundred dollars for the car?" I'm like, "What? You can get a G body for twenty five hundred dollars?" So you do you do know you can you know you do know you can take that Camaro with that V six and put your LS mode in it. Just wanted to, you know just a shot of that's exactly what I'm gonna do to it. That's exactly what I'm gonna do to it. I'm definitely gonna put an LS mode in it. Just wanted to make sure you know, tell you just in case somebody out there got got struggling with a V six and a Camaro. You do know an SS Camaro ain't nothing but a 6.0 and 6.2 LS motor. You know, you, you halfway there, boss, man. Don't give up. Don't give up. Because somebody like me, you throw it out there for the low, I'm going to swoop it up. <laughs> I'm going to swoop it up. And I'm going to show you what you should have did to it. 
I'll show you what you should have did. But um, yeah, that's a that's a uh, another thing too, man. Uh, like I said, with the Camaro bill, man, y'all see, you so far into it, man, you might as well go on and just go on and finish it on up, man. Like I said, uh, got major motion going on on all the builds. So uh, with that being said, man, uh, we gonna go. I'm gonna go try to see if I can check on El Chapo here in a minute. If not, you know something, I ain't even gonna rush it. I'm probably gonna try to hit El Chapo tomorrow. Tomorrow Wednesday. Yeah, I'm probably gonna try to hit El Chapo tomorrow if I can, man, and uh, see what we got going with it. How far we got going? I know uh, my sister's uh, truck probably probably is primarily uh, all done. So uh, we go check on it, man. Get everything squared away and uh, keep the, keep keep it pushing, man. That's all. Sometimes that's all you can do, man. Don't let these bills get you get you stressed out. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. You know, you, Big Rod Chevy telling you, do not let these bills get you stressed out. You know, to the, especially to the point you you trying to, you know, thinking about taking your freedom. Because you know, last time I checked, you know, when you try to, when you when you causing bodily harm to somebody, they gonna lock you up, bro. They gonna they gonna lock you up. And don't get me wrong, now they, 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 a lot of these bills and it de depending on your situation. It can call you. To, it can cause you to be uh, another person. You know what I'm saying? It can cause you to go another route and feel a different type of way. And I know it will. But on the same token, man, it ain't. Remember, you know, we started out doing this thing. It's supposed to be fun. And I understand some of these shops kind of take the fun away from you because they want to, uh, you know, play around and not do the work and stuff like that that they're supposed to be doing. So. Uh, on that note, you know what I'm saying? Just kind of just be careful, man, with the shops that you choose. That's pretty much all I can tell you. You know what I'm saying? And if you're in a situation and you feel like that, that's not where you need to be at, go get your car, man. Go get your shit and get up out of there. It ain't worth your freedom. It ain't worth your sanity. I'd rather see my car sitting in the backyard and I wait on a waiting list for somebody to, to, that's going to get my car than to have it sitting up at a shop and you see it not be getting no motion on it. You know what I'm saying? On a continual basis. I'm talking about you continually go by there and it's still uh, sitting there, not doing no work. So, you know what I'm saying? You know, you just got to, you know, choose your shops wisely, bros, man. That's all I can tell you when it come down to this shop stuff. So, um, but yeah, wanted to make sure I did get the Camaro bill. I told y'all I was going to get the Camaro bill sometime. Like, like I got to tell y'all on the different vlog, man, I do a thousand different other things. This is actually a hobby. This is something that I enjoy doing, you know. You know, playing with these cars and stuff like that, man. But got to get to the bag as well. So uh, if I don't get to that bag, ain't going to be able to play with these cars. <laughs> no, sir, no way. But uh, till then, man, like I said, if you're new to the channel, man, please like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell, man. And keep rocking with the Chevy channel, man. Big Rod Chevy channel. I appreciate every last one of y'all. Like I said, we I'm, I'm trying to put something together with the wife real quick, man. Oh, um, I did have uh do I do want to respond to something that somebody jumped in my comments about, and uh, it's kind of odd, you know what I'm saying? And if y'all know who this person is, or you might be friends with this person, or if this person just so happened to be watching my vlog, the question came about was about the Big Rod Chevy shirts, you know, Mr. Freeze, and not in particular, but you know. And they was like, well, um, why do you always wear your, you know, wear the Big Rod Chevy shirt? If I want y'all to wear them, wouldn't it be wise if I wore them? That was just a thought, you know. That's just like, this is my brand. This is my channel. This is my name. But you don't never see me with the shirts, but I'm going to market these shirts to you guys, and you never see me wear them. It's kind of odd, wouldn't you say? When you see me at car show and events and stuff like that, I'm supposed to promote my brand. Just a thought. But anyway, with that being said, um, Big Rod Chevy finna go ahead and uh, start putting out the shirts, man. I'm going to do some pictures and stuff. Uh, and take some pictures, man. We're gonna put it on the channel, man, so you guys can see the shirt. Like this one right here in particular, man. This is Mr. Freeze. You know what I'm saying? Uh 
y'all jump in the comments let me know what y'all think man should i put the should i put the merch out you know what i'm saying some big rod chevy shirts out you know what i'm saying y'all interested in them you know i did them for me you know to go to the car show advertise the channel man advertise the brand you know but i have had some some uh some interest in them you know what i'm saying i never i never did really you know put much work in it but i, I have heard some interest in them so with that being said, man, you know, y'all drop in the comments, man. Y'all interested in the merch? You know, I can put out some shirts, you know, put in a big order, man. And then uh, I set up the site, man, where you go on it and order and order you some shirts. You know what I'm saying? I ain't I ain't finna be out here taxing y'all. And this ain't no polo, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, it, it did, it you know, it did hit the head. I'm like, well, let me ask, let me ask the, ask the, ask the fan base, man. See what, see what they think, you know what I'm saying? You know, like my daughter called them, the subscribers. Like my baby called them. So, if y'all interested in the shirts, man, y'all jump in the inbox. Let me know. Jump, you know, let me know how what y'all think. Should I should I promote some of the shirts, baby? You think Daddy should promote some shirts? Yes. She think I should. So, Dad, you wanna know something? I think you should make the words of fire. I should make them fire. Okay. So, man, y'all uh, y'all stay tuned to the Chevy Channel, man, and uh. I can say y'all jump in the inbox, man. Y'all jump in the in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about uh, Big Rod Chevy merch coming out. You know what I'm saying? Again, I appreciate everybody from rocking with the channel, man. Big Rod Chevy. Checking out.